all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear beautiful friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a tanzanian lady 29 years old by the name of jasmine a single mother of one oh my god single mothers you are really receiving blessings this year <laughs> yeah so jasmine is a single mother of one she found love on online dating apps with an american guy after five years of searching for love of searching for a white man yes guys you heard me right searching for a white man <laughs> some people don't like to hear a word white man so you are going to forgive me seriously in today's video because i can't say otherwise this is the real talk i have to tell you the truth what this lady was looking for she was looking for love but that love wanted to find it in a white guy so dear friends you all know that i've been here giving you advice giving you encouraging words giving you energy to keep on pushing to search for the one telling you that do not worry no matter the challenges you will find the one but i know i exactly know that <laughs> sometimes you ask yourself where does she get all this energy <laughs> all the confidence to tell us that we will find the one so today's video or today's story is among of the stories that has been giving me energy to sit here and tell you do not worry you will find the one god is at work keep trusting in him because eventually he will bring that right man in your life and you will find out why i'm telling you it gives me more energy guys i have lived this story from the time jasmine started searching for the one till when she found the one after five good years so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story so friends jasmine's story starts with her past love relationship experience it is good for us to know how was it like was she in a relationship with a tanzanian guy because we have heard that she is a single mother of one so dear friends jasmine tells us her past love relationship experience yes she was in love relationship before but not with a tanzanian guy she was in a relationship with a french guy in the past and how was it like let's find out guys jasmine tells us met that french guy his name is collins <laughs> at a dinner party that dinner party was organized by the company where jasmine was working and the french guy collins was in tanzania as an expatriate so after meeting at that dinner party looking at each other for so long eventually they decided to start talking they talked and at the end of the dinner decided to exchange whatsapp numbers that's where everything started so jasmine tells us she's someone who always wanted to date a white man for her whenever she could see white guys she could go crazy so after seeing collins at the dinner party exchanging whatsapp numbers then started chatting she even planned a wedding already in her head with collins because for her she was like this is the chance this guy must marry me <laughs> sometimes we ladies can be very very funny imagine planning a wedding even before the guy asks you out <laughs> but guys jasmine was very very lucky because eventually collins asked her out when he asked her out she was very happy over the moon tells us couldn't wait for time to come so that she can go to that dinner date <laughs> so time came for jasmine to go for that dinner date prepared herself looked really really beautiful and went after arriving tells us oh my god 
everything was very well organized elegantly and in a romantic way she was very happy and so impressed of what she found at that dinner date so guys the first dinner started they ate after eating jasmine tells us it was a story after a story a story after a story and as they were giving each other stories that's when the first kiss happened it was collins who first kissed jasmine but jasmine tells us was eagerly waiting for that kiss the truth is she had a crush on him <laughs> Oh my god so they had their first kiss and jasmine tells us for her she didn't believe it it's like she was dreaming the excitement that she had after having a kiss that's when collins asked her if she could go with him to his apartment because the company he was working for rented an apartment in masaki tanzania for him so you who is watching this video i know you have guessed already what is her response <laughs> of course she accepted to go with him to his apartment and the reason to why she accepted tells us she had a crush on this guy so couldn't resist him at all <laughs> In Swahili they say in Swahili they say amekufa ameoza <laughs> to Collins meaning whatever Collins could ask her yes she was going to accept cause the lady was totally you know in love with this guy though it was their first date i know to some of you might sound strange but the fact that Jasmine accepted me to share this is not a hypocrite <laughs> had to tell the truth and i know some of you maybe you can relate to some of the stupid things you have ever done in love or in the name of love <laughs> and guys i know you know what is next good is love <laughs> the good is <laughs> so yes after going to his apartment they enjoyed the good is <laughs> very very much and slept there till the next morning so in the morning guys it was a work day they had to go to work but their relationship continued so they kept on seeing each other and enjoying the goodies until jasmine heard from another friend that Collins is also seeing another lady at her workplace. She was really really heartbroken, had to ask Collins, but Collins kept on denying that he is not seeing that lady. So guys, cuz Jasmine was in love with Collins, could listen to whatever he could tell her. He had a full control over her. Guys, we need to learn from this story. No matter how much you are in love, please please don't let a guy take a control over you take a control of whatever you want to decide <laughs> no you have to be yourself yes you are in love but also you have to be aware of your environment and everything don't fall in love blindly it is really really bad one time i was sharing a story on a premiere and i could see your comments guys you guys were saying that bella love these days has got eyes <laughs> You fall in love, yes, but with your eyes wide open, not blindly, not your eyes closed. But when it comes to Jasmine's story, yes, she was in love blindly with Collins. So she kept on seeing Collins giving him the goodies, <laughs> despite the rumors she had people saying that Collins is also seeing another colleague. So guys, the relationship lasted for three months. And then came this weekend, this particular weekend, whereby Collins told Jasmine, this weekend I am not available. I won't be able to see you because we are going out with my colleagues, you know, other white guys that were in Tanzania also for work. So it was a weekend with the boys. <laughs> 
Jasmine couldn't go with him was like it's okay you can go I will enjoy my weekend doing other things so they agreed on that and then the weekend came so that weekend Jasmine decided to go to the mall and pass her time as she entered the mall guess what she saw <laughs> She saw Collins with that colleague and they were holding each other, you know, as lovers. Was like, oh my goodness. So what people have been telling me is true. Collins has been cheating on me with the colleague. But the truth is, it's not that Collins was cheating on her. No. Collins was using Jasmine and was using even the colleague. Was never in love with Jasmine, neither with the colleague. That's the truth, guys, because later on, he even started talking. You know, you know when you mix love and work and it is an environment whereby there is lots of people, you know, women, men, <laughs> People talk. So this calling started talking and being like Tanzanian ladies are very cheap, you know, due to the way he could get these ladies, including Jasmine. If you remember very well, she went to his apartment the first date. Who does that? <laughs> so Jasmine looking at it now is like, yes, I did a very big mistake. But at that time, didn't see that it was a mistake. So Collins was just having his adventure in these ladies. It's very, very sad. So guys, Jasmine tells us she cried and cried after crying decided to call him be like I saw you at the mall so it's true you were cheating on me with that colleague but unfortunately Collins did not respond and we know why he didn't respond <laughs> he was busy with the other colleague <laughs> so what Jasmine decided to tell herself is I'm going to talk to him tomorrow after work so guys, after work, Jasmine decided to go see Collins at his apartment. And after arriving, do you know what happened, guys? <laughs> Afro Cinema. The gate man that knew Jasmine could see Jasmine entering in with Collins. That day, he refused completely to let her in was like no you are not welcomed here you are not allowed to enter collins does not want to see you she was like call him i want to hear his voice saying that he doesn't want to see me the gate man was like those are the orders i've been given i am so sorry i cannot let you in Oh my goodness, Jasmine was so, so angry, very, very disappointed and embarrassed, guys. It is very, very embarrassing to find yourself in her situation. I can really imagine. So she decided to go back home. Collins never contacted her again, never. So their relationship just ended like that and she could hear stories that Collins is still sleeping around with different ladies at work. Oh my God, this guy was just a womanizer. So dear beautiful ladies, I have a very small tip here. I've talked of this, but I think I should also insist again due to this story because we learned something. So you ladies who are watching me, you are interested in white guys, interracial dating, a white man is not a saint. So the way you could behave while dating a black guy, behave same, same way. Treat him same, same way. Cause he is just a man, just like any other man. The only difference is the color. Cause if you just go with your eyes closed, <laughs> Be like, because he's a white guy, I'm just going to give my goodies and he will never cheat on me. <laughs> my dear sister, you'll cry. Oh. <laughs> so let's learn, guys, and search for love while our eyes are wide open. Date these white guys while our eyes are wide open. We are seeing everything. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, their relationship ended just like that in the air. And after that relationship ending, you know, everyone continued with life 
and after two or three weeks that's when jasmine started feeling strange and when she went to take a pregnant test found out that she was pregnant for Collins. So now you tell me guys, how is she going to tell Collins that she is pregnant? Because they are not talking, the guy is not picking her calls, but fortunately never blocked her. <laughs> so after finding out she was pregnant, she cried a lot, a lot, a lot but promised herself is not going to abort that baby even if colin says that he doesn't want that baby so had to write a message to collins and tell him that i am pregnant collins got the message and surprisingly <laughs> that's the only message that he responded he was like i don't want to know anything about that pregnancy and i'm not even sure if that baby is mine but just take care of your pregnancy when you give birth and the baby comes out to be mine, later on, when the baby grows up, you will tell him that I was from France. And if he wants to look for me, he will look for me when he is old. <laughs> but right now, I don't want to know anything. If he is my baby, he is going to recognize me when he grows up. I wish you luck in your pregnancy. She couldn't believe it, guys, because for her, white man was, you know, like an angel. When you see an angel, someone who can't do anything wrong, like cheating on you or refusing to take care of his responsibilities, that is not what Jasmine believed. So this guy refusing the pregnancy, telling her all those words, was like a shock to her. So guys, Jasmine took care of her pregnancy and that's the time when I came to know Jasmine when she was pregnant through a friend. And her pregnancy came to an end. She gave birth to a baby boy, a very cute baby boy. But even after having her baby boy, this guy never wanted to know anything about that baby boy. He was still in Tanzania, but after four months of that boy being born, his contract ended and he returned to France. But to all of us, I can tell you, yes, it was a shock to Jasmine. But even me, when I was told the story, I was like, it can't be. <laughs> How can a white man abandon his baby? And later on, after a year, I came to know another lady. I think I gave you her story who was abandoned too. So guys, you remember very well, I did a video here of white men to be careful about when you are in Africa. You meet a white man in Africa, there are some things you really need to be careful about. If you're going to give your goodies, please, please, because not all of us can wait till marriage, then remember to use the protection because once that white guy impregnates you, don't think that he will take care of his responsibilities because some white guys don't want to take care of their responsibilities. They're going to abandon you there and they know. <laughs> Due to how life can be hard in Africa, when the baby grows up, of course, you'll be like, you know, I'm a white guy. <laughs> I want to go and see my dad <laughs> stay in France or whatever country that guy is coming from. It's you who suffered with a baby from pregnancy, then taking care of him till he grows. Let's be wise, guys. So guys, Jasmine continued with work and taking care of her baby boy. Fortunately, had a mother who could take care of the baby boy. But sadly, when Jasmine's baby boy was one year, she lost her mother. So remained alone with younger brother. And then came another challenge whereby Jasmine's baby boy got sick. They were admitted at the hospital, stayed there for more than three months. And that's when Jasmine lost her job. And I can remember very, very well Jasmine calling me, telling me that, Bella, I don't know why all these misfortunes following me. First the guy impregnating me, then abandoning me, then losing the most important person in the world for me, my mother. Then my baby gets sick. Now I've lost my job. 
why is this all happening to me? Even some people were telling her that maybe there is someone who has bewitched you. <laughs> Guys, if you don't have faith in God, when problems happen, that's when the devil also comes around Those people coming and telling you that maybe there is someone who is bewitching you that is why all this is happening to you that means the devil is pulling you on that darker side and if you accept to follow that darker side you are doomed girl <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so she could tell me, Bella, I don't know what to believe. Sometimes I feel like believing people who are saying that I am bewitched because I wonder why are they happening only to me? But I told her, no, you have to keep on praying to God. Don't believe that anyone has bewitched you. Yes, in Africa, if you're an African watching this, we all know that, you know, <laughs> witchcraft is there <laughs> so if you give witchcraft a chance it's a very big problem you'll never get out of it even if yes you have a voice inside you telling you maybe someone has bewitched you be like i am not scared i stand with god i know god is going to protect me from whatever is happening if you ever done anything bad to me it's gonna go back to you because I'm a child of God. So I kept on encouraging this lady and I thank God she listened to me, prayed to God. Yes, that sometimes she could be like, Bella, mm, I don't know. I'm praying, I'm praying, but things are still hard, my dear sister. So guys, I kept on encouraging her, praying for her every day and thank God her baby was out of the hospital. Everything was good except she didn't have a job. Remember, she lost her job. So I told her right now, you don't need to keep on crying. Look for a job so that you can take care of your baby. I gave her some job ideas so she could apply for jobs and jobs, but couldn't find any. I told her, girl, you have a baby to feed. So do not look like, oh my God, if I do this job, it's very low. You know, not to my standards. Don't look at that. I remember the business idea that I gave to her is to go to the city center. She lived in Dar es Salaam. So I told her, go to Posta city center, move around all offices, enter, tell them that you are a single mom. You're looking for a job, even if it is a cleaning job, even if there is someone who is single, you know, the bachelors. <laughs> Who wants a lady to wash for him clothes, iron, organize his house? If someone is in need, you are available. I told her if you enter 10 offices, I'm sure you will find one person that is in need and your baby will be saved. As a single mother, you don't need to sit and cry and cry and cry or expect people to help you. You have to help yourself too by looking for a job. Do any job as long as you bring food on the table. So guys, she did, like I said, looked for a job, went to those offices, even went to these tourist hotels, tourist restaurants, never found any job and things were really good getting so tight you know life becoming very very difficult on her side as a single mother remembered had an aunt and decided to go stay with her aunt while keeping on searching for a job but at her aunt's place she was mistreated oh my god i don't know how can people be that cruel they mistreated her they could tell her very hateful words could call me cry and cry and cry i could tell her don't worry there is no difficult situation that is permanent it's gonna pass so eventually i was like no i can't keep on staying here i have to go had another aunt in the village so went to the village left her baby there and returned in Dar es Salaam 
alone to keep on searching for a job but also where she left the baby they could call her every single day telling her to send money the money that she didn't have because had told them she doesn't have a job they should help her stay with the baby for a while when she gets a job she will come for her baby so the baby stayed there imagine bella my baby has become mzungu chokora if you're tanzanian you understand when i say mzungu chokora it's like a white guy in africa with no money you know a broke white guy <laughs> <laughs> so she could be like my baby has become muzungu chokora i told her because you don't have an option now keep searching for a job so that you can take your baby so she kept on searching for a job but at the same time started telling me still wants a white man told me bella i don't care what happened with collins i still want a white man i want to get married to a white man but deep inside my mind i knew that she cannot find a white guy in her situation because didn't have a job has got a small baby on her side so what i told her is that first look for a job when you find a job you will find that white man that you are looking for but to tell you the truth i didn't know how it was gonna happen <laughs> i just knew that when she gets a job she will find the one so after returning to the city all her efforts to look for a job brought fruits she found a job in one of the tourist restaurants in masaki she was super super happy started working there faced some challenges at work i remember she could tell me everything guys that could happen to her some colleagues didn't like her because she has never started anything like you know hotel management but she found a job so they were so angry <laughs> knowing that they are working with someone who never started hotel management and is there with them it's like there were a kind of jealousy of her could be like i don't know what to do yes they are paying me well but the problem i'm treated very very badly with my colleagues i told her keep working just think of your baby so she kept on working and told me bella now i feel like i will find a white man because at this restaurant comes lots of white men <laughs> so could be at work by the same time searching <laughs> this is so funny right so she kept on searching in real life for a white man yes could work at that restaurant but on her free time could also go on search <laughs> the places where white men go like those tourists hotels <laughs> you know but nothing guys nothing yes came across some white guys but when she could tell me oh i found this white guy he told me one two three four i could tell her do not go for him because i've got experience <laughs> you'll only end up crying just like how collins did to you so don't go into that relationship so she searched and searched in real life nothing good came out decided to concentrate on work and her baby so guys as she kept on working one day came this lady at that restaurant that lady too was looking for a white man that is why she came to that restaurant so as she served her they exchanged some words and eventually started talking so she was like i'm also looking for a white man but i've not been lucky <laughs> so they found themselves in the same situation and created a very great friendship so after some time that lady jasmine's friend that they met at that tourist restaurant where jasmine was working found the one and found an american guy so told jasmine that i found an american guy here in tanzania and we are planning to get married jasmine was so happy and could be like when is mine <laughs> whenever she could watch my videos on youtube could be like oh my god when is mine i feel like going crazy when i see you telling stories that ladies have found love online they have found white guys <laughs> I could tell her just mean don't worry just keep on searching keep on praying to God he's gonna answer you and whatever challenge you are going through now or you have come across in life 
we will be laughing at it someday be like oh my god do you remember <laughs> yeah so i could tell her like that and she could keep on moving keep on searching so her friend got married in america and jasmine kept on searching but again deleted all dating apps i remember last year around august that's when jasmine looked for me again was like bella but i don't understand these dating apps really work so i was like they work maybe you stopped watching my channel go watch i have new online success stories watch them she was like oh my god why is that god doesn't want to hear me out I really envy these women that have found love online. Can you please share with me other new dating apps that you know? Because it was quite some time since I communicated to her. So I sent her some dating apps to try out. I remember it was F Dating, Meet Me, and OK Cupid. So, guys, after telling her to go back to online dating apps, do you know what happened? she disappeared completely i didn't hear from her and you know sometimes i can get very very busy even you that we have exchanged let's say whatsapp numbers or you that we have been chatting on instagram i don't come and be like how are you doing how is it going but it's not that i don't care i really care about you all but things can really get so busy so i did not check on my friend she went quiet till december 2022 i saw her calling me calling me calling me when i get time i'll call her back but i never get time to call her back so what she decided to do was like i see my sister <laughs> she calls me sister i see my sister you don't want to talk to me but i've got hot gossip <laughs> that i want to share with you can you please pick my call and you know us ladies when we hear gossip <laughs> the ears goes like this they stand so i told her okay i'm gonna call you tomorrow so the next day surprisingly <laughs> i forgot to call her and she called me i picked she was like you won't believe i found the one he is an american and as i'm talking right now i am preparing all my documents to ask for the visa go visit him in america i was like what hold on <laughs> I want you to tell me step by step how did it happen <laughs> so she was like around october last year received a message from this american guy his name is justin 48 years old and this guy was telling her i am very interested in you i would like to get to know you more and when she received the message you're like okay let me give it a try <laughs> and see how it goes so responded to him and everything started there this guy was really going so fast told her ask me any question that you want to ask me anything that you want to know about me I am going to respond to you because I don't want to waste much time chatting with you. I want us to meet in person. So that's why I'm telling you to ask me questions so that you get to know me better. I know I have advised you to ask questions. Don't worry to ask questions. Never be sorry for asking questions because <laughs> sometimes some of these unserious men can make you feel like you have done a mistake asking them questions. But girl, there is no mistake done. Never be sorry to ask questions. If a guy is avoiding some questions or you are asking questions and the guy is like, there is no need for you to know this, you know, don't ask me lots of questions. It's like you're interrogating me you know a guy has got something he is hiding from you a guy who wants to come out clear will answer all questions without making you feel bad for asking questions so jasmine kept on asking him questions and he could ask questions too she was clear from the start that she is a single mother of one and the baby daddy is from france there is no need to tell a guy your life history on the first day <laughs> no go step by step 
So he accepted her with her baby and she was really really happy everything was going very well between them and after two weeks of communicating that's when jasmine decided to talk to her friend in america if you remember that friend that they met at the restaurant where jasmine was working she got married to an american guy so was like i found this guy he's an american you know very good everything is going well he's moving too fast but i want to test him to tell him that you are in america too if he is real then should meet you <laughs> so the friend was like it's okay i'm gonna talk to my husband so that we can meet this guy you just tell him it's okay so jasmine decided to tell justin i've got a friend she's tanzanian and is married to an american guy if it is okay with you you can meet them and get to know them by her surprise, Justin accepted to meet them. Yes, they were living different states, but set an appointment and decided to meet. So Jasmine tells us when he accepted, that is when she knew the guy is the one. Because if he was an serious guy, wasn't going to accept to meet the friend and the husband to her friend. So yes, guys, they met and the relationship continued to be very, very strong because now she knows he is a real guy. <laughs> and also Justin introduced her to his family after one month of chatting. Please never ignore that. Make sure a guy introduces you to his family. <laughs> And on Jasmine's side, yes, she introduced Justin to her younger brother. I told you she has got a younger brother. So after chatting for one month and a half, Justin decided to invite Jasmine to America. And that's the time where Jasmine was calling me <laughs> to give me the news. So she applied for her visa, but unfortunately was denied the visa to go to America. So when she got denied the visa, she was very sad, cried a lot, but Justin told her, don't worry, we are going to be together no matter what. I told you guys, love always wins. If you guys are so much in love with each other, whatever challenge will come your way you are going to overcome it you will have a plan b but when you are in a relationship with a guy who doesn't love you at all when challenges come he will run away from the challenges so after that visa denial justin decided to be the one to go to tanzania to meet jasmine for the first time and that was same same december 2022 Christmas period and yes time for Justin to go to Tanzania came he went she went to pick him at the airport was super super happy to see him then went to the hotel where he had booked and I know you guys are like goodies <laughs> Yes, she shared her goodies on their first night. <laughs> now you are like, oh my god, this lady does not learn. <laughs> but guys, they used the protection. So there was no way she was going to get pregnant again. <laughs> At least she learned her lesson. <laughs> Yeah. So after staying for one week at the hotel, eventually Jasmine decided to take him to her place. And guys, yes, I know you are still asking yourself, did she get her baby from the village? Yes, eventually when she found a job, took her baby, brought her back to the city so she was living with her baby and her younger brother at the time she was at the hotel the baby remained with her younger brother the brother is 24 years old so it's not that he is a teenager or a very small boy no <laughs> so they went to her place justin was so happy to meet jasmine's baby and the younger brother they clicked everything was really really good going so smoothly so justin stayed in tanzania for three weeks and it was time to return to america and due to the past experience that jasmine went through this time was like no i want to know where this relationship is heading 
what is next after this guy coming here so she started asking him what are your plans are you planning to get married justin was like no i'm not planning to get married at all and that's when she started getting so worried i remember telling me oh my god do you know what justin is telling me he's not planning to get married it's not something that he has ever planned in his life like getting married right now i'm so confused i don't know what to do and yes the day for him to return to america came she escorted him to the airport was crying so so much but surprisingly <laughs> justin wasn't crying and was telling her why are you crying this is not the time to cry <laughs> like how i've always been telling you you're crying and the guy is looking at you like why are you crying <laughs> <laughs> so this guy was so cold after him leaving she called me again was like bella i don't understand him at all can you imagine i was busy crying and the guy was telling me why are you crying this is not the time to cry <laughs> I was like seriously oh my god he's super super cold but why she told me i don't know i told her you just keep on seeing how things goes how he keeps on treating you after returning to america because that matters a lot you can spend good good times together in your country but once a guy returns to his country that's the moment of truth if he is a player he's gonna block you if he is a player he's gonna be only prolonging the relationship you won't see the next step so there you will decide as a woman that this is not what i want then cut him off so he returned to america but kept on communicating to her till the end of february 2023 the guy disappeared completely <laughs> he was not responding to her calls and her messages was so worried tells me lost appetite couldn't sleep at all was thinking what happened why is that he is not responding to my calls and justin had a sick mother so she got worried and was like maybe the mother passed away that is why he is not responding to me but guys the afro cinema the most sweetest <laughs> part of this story comes next so on march 1st that friend who was in america the tanzanian lady like jasmine i have my sister-in-law who is getting married in tanzania has got a tanzanian boyfriend but this sister-in-law has got the exact body as you are so what i'm asking you on third i will be in tanzania i want us to go together to those wedding dresses stores so that you can try dresses on behalf of my sister-in-law that when she comes the dress is ready so jasmine was like it's okay no problem you know it's a friend i can do you that favor and yes on third the friend came they went together tried out different dresses eventually found the dress she was like yeah this one my sister-in-law will like it it fits very nicely so do me another favor <laughs> I want you to go with this dress to your place and then on 5th I will call you to come with a dress at the venue so that my sister-in-law can dress it. So she had to take the dress to her house and tells us all the time was telling her baby don't touch it don't touch it because <laughs> the baby could be you know you know kids touching the dress and I was like don't dirty that dress because my friend is gonna kill me if you dirty it <laughs> so the next day again the friend called her and was like you know what you are invited to the wedding so i see your nails are not done i want you to go and do your nails look good she was like i don't have money to go do my nails the friend told her i'm going to send you money go do your nails so she sent her 50 euros went did her nails and on fifth tells us at six in the morning the friend called her and told her take a taxi 
come with that dress at the airport. So she took a taxi, left her kid and her younger brother at home, went to the airport. Arriving at the airport, the friend was like, wait there, wait, wait. She waited and waited for like an hour. No one was coming out. She couldn't see that friend and then told her, okay, we have changed the plans come to this hotel that was the venue of the wedding of the sister-in-law of a friend i hope you understand <laughs> so she told the taxi driver turn back and take me to this hotel the taxi driver had to turn back take her to that hotel after arriving at the hotel she came out of the taxi took a dress and to her surprise guys <laughs> So her baby boy dressed up so nicely in a very cute suit, looking so cute. Then her brother dressed up very, very good in a very nice suit. His hair done. He has got dreadlocks. <laughs> the younger brother has got dreadlocks. So she was shocked. What are they doing here? And then the big surprise. <laughs> She saw Justin dressed up in a suit, <laughs> knelt down and was like, can you marry me? <laughs> oh my God. She started crying. She cried and cried and cried. <laughs> then said yes he engaged her they had planned everything actually the friend was in tanzania a week before to do all those plans behind her back and the reason why they told her to go to the airport is because they wanted to take his younger brother and the son to the saloon you know to get prepared so they were buying time after proposing he told her now are you ready for the wedding <laughs> so she went put on her dress everyone was there guys they did a court wedding she couldn't believe it it was like a movie even me guys i didn't know anything <laughs> that same same day on 5th of march i received her wedding photos and i was like what is this <laughs> She didn't tell me anything and I'm her friend. I've been there for her in bad times and good times. She gets married without telling me. <laughs> I called her and she wasn't picking. I sent her a voice note. I was like, thank you so much. Congratulations, but I'm not happy. You didn't tell me before. Why did you get married in a secret? <laughs> So that's when she was like, no, you shouldn't get angry at me. Even to me, it was a surprise. So she told me everything of how it happened. I was so happy. I showed the picture to my husband because my husband knows her. <laughs> he was like, if this lady has got married, then there is no excuse. Everyone will find love. So I'm talking to you too. If it happened to her, the lady who had given up, yes, she tried all ways in real life on online dating apps, asking me too to connect her. I tried, but it never worked. Eventually, God brought a right guy in her life. She found love. So keep searching. Do not give up. When I tell you, you can find love on online dating apps, I mean it. Yes, you can find love on online dating apps. It is just a matter of time. God's time is the best. Even for Jasmine, she found love when it was God's time. At the time when she was crying, saying that I won't be able to find the one, God was just watching her and being like, my daughter, there is no need to cry because your time is coming you just need to be patient and that has been our biggest challenge the waiting time is always difficult that is why i am here to encourage you to keep on moving forward so guys after getting married because justin knows the whole story has accepted to adopt her baby boy right now they are doing documents to relocate to america live there happily ever after so guys the name of the dating app where they met they met on f dating guys keep trying on f dating if it works in your country if it doesn't work 
keep using other dating apps that works in your country. You just need to keep on observing the red flags, observing the signs of a serious man that is looking for true love on online dating apps. That is going to save you time. That is going to bring you to the right guy. So dear friends, that was Jasmine's online dating success love story and Justin. Thank you so much for watching this story. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Happy Easter to you all, our lovely friends. You're always here and here in our hearts. <laughs> Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Mwah. <laughs> she wanted to do this with me. <laughs>